Okay, welcome back. Right now we're doing a little adjustment on the points. And uh, for this task, you're gonna need a few things. One, manual crank, very important. Excellent and handy to have in bad situations. And for this particular task, it is double plus good. The other things we're gonna need, screwdriver, flathead, feeler gauges. This one is, I don't know if you can see that or not, 14 millimeter. Focus, focus, or not. 14, uh, sorry, 14 thousandths of an inch. Dielectric grease, you can get this at just about any halfway decent auto parts store, although it is expensive. And electronic cleaner. And of course, your manual. If you don't have one, get one. It is extremely, extremely helpful. So I saved the boring bits and I already got the top off the distributor. And you can see the guts right here. Now it looks super complicated, but I promise it actually isn't. <clears throat> What's going on here is, let's see if I can get my little point and stick. Okay, with every revolution of the crankshaft, this bit spins right here. And it receives an electrical impulse from the little contact that's over on this side. And it shares that impulse with these guys, these four little contacts plus a carbon brush. Oh, let me get that out of the way. Okay, so the first thing I did is I cleaned off all the gunk that was in there with the electrical contact cleaner, and that just made it a lot easier to see everything. So here you can see there's a little tiny contact right there and that's driven by this spring that looks like it's out of a watch. So in between those two contacts they're supposed to be between 14 and 16 thousandths of an inch. So what I did is I got my 14 thousandths of an inch feeler gauge and slipped it in there and tightened it up until I could just barely slide it in and out. And then between backlash and, you know, manufacturer, blah, 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 whatever, by the time I can actually slide it back out again, it should be about 15 or 15 and a half thou. And the way you do that, let me switch hands here. Working with a cell phone camera is not the easiest. The way you do that is with this little screw right there. And you just loosen or tighten that. Now I'm not going to do it now because I already did it. I wanted to make sure I was going to do it right before I did this video. So you just loosen or tighten that. And then once that's loose, you come in. You come in over here. And this actually manually pushes and pulls. The, uh, the little arm in or out and then once you have it set to the right distance with the feeler gauge you tighten this screw back up and then you should be good to go since I blasted it with some electric cleaner I'm going to reapply some dielectric grease to the shaft. I don't know if you can see that or not. But just a little dab will do you. A little spritz there. And a little spritz there. And like I said, this stuff is expensive, but it's worth it. It's great for doing things like this. And also keeping various speed connectors and things like that clean and you know preventing corrosion etc etc so now that we've done that let's get the distributor back on distributor cap back on that goes on just like so
a bastard of a time doing this one-handed. There's one. back on there. Double check all your connections. Ooh, that was distressingly loose. I think I'll address that in a, another video. See, it looks like there's a little bit of a kink in that wire. That could be a bad wire. Yeah. So, better to just replace it rather than find out later the hard way. All those are back in. That didn't upset anything. Rosie's happy. I'm happy. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention the reason that you have the crank out is so that you can actually you can actually turn the engine manually, little bit by little bit, until it gets to the right position for you to make the adjustment. This is kind of just a broad overview. I'm not explaining it very well. Do the smart thing. Get the manual and learn how to do it the right way. Okay? It's all in here. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but the information's there. Anyway, thanks for watching.